Dyson Hoover, Dyson Hoover, what? Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Ryan's Corner. What is the story? Everyone is deadly to be back doing another video. I've still got the dogs out. Who let these things out? Man, this calendar has been so shit. My mate bought me this. Why the f why'd you buy me this, man? What the fuck? You know, you know who, you know who you are. I've got the Marvel t-shirt out, guys. Doctor Strange, even though this has nothing to do with Doctor Strange, but still, we're back again with another kind of uh, Marvel video. And today, we're doing something completely different, guys, which I've never done on this channel before. And that is, we're going to be making a... This fucking chair, man. Today, we're going to be doing a custom Lego build, which I've never done before. I was on Rebrickable and um, having a look at some cool sets. For those of you who don't know, Rebrickable is like a website where you can like create your own Lego sets and sell your instructions and then people can build them and stuff. So um, I was looking and I found this account of a guy called Ranson Fern. Hope I'm saying that correctly. Uh, I'll put his name in the description, I suppose. I'll put a link to this set in the description. And I saw this build that he did, an alternate Iron Man build which looked really fucking cool. I know you guys already know this, but this isn't sponsored or paid for in any way. Like, he didn't hit me up or that, and I just thought this was really cool and I wanted to build it. And basically, he did an alternate build of this set, which I thought was really interesting the way he used the exact same pieces. So you don't have to get any extra pieces to build this kind of Iron Man uh, bust. Now, I already have a full review of this actual set on the channel. Go check that out. But, um, I didn't want to disassemble it. I was, I was too lazy to disassemble it. So I just went and bought another one. I know. So that's why I was in a Lego haul, guys. That's why I got another one, because I was too lazy to take it apart. I just thought it would be easier to just buy another one. Man, my life is a joke. So anyway, guys, you go and Rebrickable. His design's there. It costs four euro uh, to do, which is really cool. It's really nice to be able to kind of support uh, a builder like that. Go check it out. You can download it as like a PDF and just build it off from there, which that's what I'm going to do. I think also has a YouTube video which you can follow on how to build it, but I just thought it might be easier to just kind of follow it myself instead of having to pause a video and all that shit. And also as well, I just wanted to support him for being able to make this really cool Iron Man build. So anyway, guys, without further ado, we're going to jump in. We're going to build this. I'm not I'm not going to unbox it. You've already seen this before. Go check out the Iron Man build if you want to see me unbox this thing. I'm not going to do a time lapse or anything of the build of this because I'm not sure how it's going to go. I might scrap this whole video, to be honest. So if you're watching this, uh, cool. Yeah, I'm not going to do a time lapse or anything, guys. I'm just going to jump in now to a little in-depth review if I've done one, all right? Bang, and here we have it, guys. Here's the Lego Iron Man buildable character alternate build. Yeah. Overall, guys, this thing looks fantastic. It is a gorgeous little bust here of Iron Man. I think this thing turned out so good considering we just used pieces from the buildable Iron Man set. And we also have all these pieces left over too, which we didn't even use. And we managed to achieve this look without using any of the stickers. Well, I used one for the plaque, but the actual stickers on, there's no stickers here. And he just looks so detailed and so nice just the way it is. So well done there to the creator for doing that because this thing looks fantastic. You can just spin them all the way around. It's a mad build, guys. Look how detailed and intricate it is. This was a crazy build to do. It's like built upside down. Like all the, like all the studs are here. You can see the studs are on top here. The whole thing is built upside down, like it is mad, but it was so cool to do. We'll take a look, guys. Here's the plaque, as you've seen before. Yeah, all the information there, whatever. It doesn't really make sense to this because this is now a bust. Like you can kind of see the Iron Man picture there, which to be fair to the creator, he doesn't actually have the sticker there. Um, I just put it on. And then you kind of see all in here, which um, is a bit unclean, a bit untidy looking, but I guess he's like, he's working with the pieces that came with the set. I'm sure if he wanted to use his own piece, he could have made this all black but then you wouldn't have been able to use just this set. You'd have to go and buy other pieces. So um, I understand why he did this here. And it does look fine considering if you are going to display them just like this, you're not going to see any of that. The plaque's going to be in the way. The chest is fantastic, guys. And look at the intricacy here and like the shape. And it's just a crazy build. How smooth it is. The gold here looks so nice, guys. And I absolutely love the arc reactor here. All the way it kind of goes into the neck, guys. And the head is fantastic. The head is so nice. And I love the way you can't really see his neck too much, guys. The way it's kind of mainly covered there. Um, it is Lego, so you're going to get that. But I just feel like on the other, the official Iron Man buildable character, you can just see all of his neck and it's just, I don't know, it doesn't really, I don't really like that. The way this is curved here, guys, looks so nice. The gold and the red color there looks really good. I love that you can't really see inside here a lot, which is good because it makes it feel like there's actually someone in the suit. It's a lot bulkier as well compared to, to the other one, the official one. The arms are really nice as well, guys, using that kind of face design there again. Uh, doesn't really have any more here. doesn't have the hands or anything like that, but that's okay for a bust. Once again, achieving a great level of detail here without using any stickers at all. It is slightly flimsy in parts, guys. Like this piece here is just like stuck on by one stud, which um, you, you'd know when you're building it that this isn't an official Lego set and the way it's built in certain areas that I'm like, Lego would never do this, but um, it's still fine. 
Look, I just broke that without even realizing what. It is flimsy in places, guys, yeah, but I think he's just trying to work with the pieces that were in the set. So um, I'll give it a little pass. The back is really nice as well, guys. See the back of his head there, which is a bit smooth. Um, it would have been cool to get some more pieces here. Once again, he's working with pieces in the set, so maybe he wasn't able to achieve that. I guess you could just mod it yourself, but it's grand. And the back is just fantastic, guys. The detail here, this looks so good. The gold and the way it's all smoothing down here. And one of my favorite features is, guys, if you push this down here, around the back the light will come on and it will stay on which is so nice you can't really see it well here over the camera but on the on the official one and the official build of an iron man figure and um, you can just either turn it on or off there's no option to keep it on so um that's a really great little feature there and here we have a look guys at a side by side between the official set and the alternate build here now once again these are comp the same pieces but completely different builds and completely different types of builds. The official one is a lot bigger, guys, because it is made to be like an action figure, and the other one uses way less pieces. It, like, there's a lot of pieces I showed you there that they don't even use. But it's just incredible, guys, the way you use the same pieces to get completely different looks and two different styles of build. I just love that. Now, I know the original set was designed for kids. I get it was supposed to be a play set, but as an adult perspective, if I had to pick one of these, it would, of course, be the ultimate build. It looks so good. But once again, the build of Iron Man figure is fine. I know it's not. I'm not the target audience at all. It almost seems unfair to compare them in terms of their actual builds and their styles are completely different. I'm just comparing them in terms of the piece usage, the way we use the same piece here to just get two completely different looks. And I just think that's really cool. Overall, though, guys, if you're a Lego fan, a Marvel fan, if you have that set lying around the build of one, um, even if you just want a small little set, if you're a casual kind of collector, if you just want a small set for your desk, this would be so perfect to just have as a, as a singular set on your desk. This is a lot of fun to do. It was just something completely different to do and just follow a different set of instructions to just kind of regular Lego ones. This was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'd heavily recommend this set and I think this is a great little addition to my collection now. Bang, and there you have it, guys. There's the last look there, the alternate Iron Man build. Overall, this was just great. Something different, something new, a bit of fun, you know? If you're interested in picking this up, guys, there should be a link in the description to Rance and Fern's instructions. Go check them out, guys. It was a really fun, interactive build. And leave it in the comments as well, guys, if you want to see me do some more of these, some kind of custom Lego builds from Rebrickable. There's a few I have my eye on. But um, I thought this would be a really fun start. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. He's a deadly, he's a whopper. Keep doing what he's a doing. Like and subscribe and all that stuff. Until next time, I'll see you soon and stay safe out there.